During the winter of 2015, the residents of Hampton Bay, Long Island, woke up to what they say was the worst smell they had ever experienced. Uh, mysteriously overnight, a thousand fish had died in the canal. After thorough analysis, they found that the oxygen levels in the water were too low and all the fish had drowned. Upon hearing the news, many had questions like, how does a fish drown? Don't they have gills? Don't they have a fin and a tail? They said things like, aren't they built to survive in that environment? Perhaps this is the best analogy for my depression. This angry deity, this jealous God, this thirsty shadow that wrings my joy like a dish rag, turns every conversation into a conveyor belt that always begins with the phrase, you look tired today. To be honest, um, getting out of bed has become a magic trick and I'm probably the worst magician I know. This sadness is the only clean shirt I have left and my washing machine has been broken for months. When people ask me how I'm doing, I wanna say my daughter's four years old and I'm still not sure if I'm a good father. I wanna say that my dad is being diagnosed with dementia. There might be a day when I walk in the room and he doesn't recognize me and I've always wanted us to start all over, but I guess you gotta be careful about what you ask for. I guess when you pray for something, you have to be a little more specific. I wanna say crickets have been known to eat their own wings and I too have a tendency to destroy what helps me get off the ground. I really want to say that I'm not in a good place right now, but that's not a polite answer. So instead, I pretend it's Halloween. I jack lantern my face into something acceptable, and I tell others I'm fine until it sounds like the truth. But sometimes there's a help me chain to the ankle of it. I'm doing okay. Sometimes I'm fine is the quickest way to say I don't want to talk about it. Sometimes all the oxygen in the room becomes water. I feel like I'm sinking to the bottom, like I'm like I'm running out of air. But I made a promise to myself that I won't be another drowning fish, that I will not die in this canal. I heard that if you just take a deep breath and, re and relax, the, the human body will naturally float on top of the water. So I breathe and I tell myself that it's gonna be okay. I, I cry, but I tell myself that it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Because I know there is a better version of me somewhere in the future. He is staring at this moment right here and he is saying, Rudy, thank you for not giving up on us. A few days ago, I was reading and um, I saw a run on sentence and I thought, you know, it could have just ended right there. But it found a reason to keep going. I smiled and I said, well, same, 